G'day all. Today I'm a little bit excited because we're going to be doing a overseed with some pre pre perennial ryegrass once I get the wording right. Um, it's been pretty cold here the last couple of nights. I've had some frost on my front lawn and I've also had a little bit of frost this morning as well. It's been only like three degrees at night but it's been frosting up where I'm at. Um, Today we're also going to do a little bit of soil amendments as well. I'm going to put some humate, humic acid, uh, seaweed secrets and a little bit of stimulizer down as well just to strengthen that up a bit. I haven't done it for a while. But the first thing is, is the perennial ryegrass. We're going to, and I'm groom with my groomer and then I'm going to uh, probably scout. Then I'll groom again just to try and get a little bit further down into that soil profile. Then I'll apply the seed, and then I'll roll it, and then I'll water it, and I'll put some of the humate, humic acid, seaweed secrets, and all that down as well, just to try and give that a bit of a boost. But looking forward to it, it should be a good morning. Busy one, but it's going to be fun. having to adjust my groomer to be a little bit more aggressive because when I was cutting and grooming my cooch during summer and the growing season I had it set to 5 mil which is basically half of my cut. They say that you shouldn't take more than a half of the height of cut when you're grooming uh, because it's, it's easier to take more but if you take too much then you can't put it back so um, this is still set to 5 mil and because I'm trying to overseed, I'm, I'm pretty much destroying that side patch because it's just a test patch for me. But I'm going to go really aggressive and just um, try and pull up as much material as I can. And then I'm going to probably set this to just a zero. So it's basically the front roller and the rear roller is level with the, the teeth of the groomer. Uh, so I've just got to adjust, adjust that now. So it's about to get a whole lot more aggressive. grams for that 10 square meters so it's about 50 grams per square meter um, so I've, um, I've got enough there to 
reseed as well once I get the germination if there's any bare patches because I'm applying by hand I'll be able to um, throw out some more seed in those bare patches and probably five or six weeks yeah, probably a month and a half I'll, I'll reseed uh, but this will be an ultimate test to see whether it's worthwhile going perennial ryegrass or just maintaining a foliar structure with your standard summer or you know warm season grass so <clears throat> I'm going to be doing the rye grass on the 10 square meters and I'll be maintaining my 100 square meters on the other side with just my foliar applications um, with nitrogen iron um, I'll be mowing the rye I'm sure if it takes off pretty well because I'm applying still pretty late now but um, we'll see how we go I've opened up that canopy enough to get this down to the soil <coughs> But because my cooch is so dense, because I mow it so regularly, it's, it's a little bit tougher. Um, and I don't think I'll need to apply a um, growth regulator on it, because it's, it's slowed down lots. If I had applied it a bit earlier, I probably would have, and that's what the general practice is. If you're going to oversee with perennial ryegrass, you do it earlier in the, in the in autumn, um, and then you basically bring it right back, throw your seed out, Apply your growth regulator, and um, and that hopefully lets that that rye germinate. Uh, so I'm going to apply this now, and then we'll uh, we'll roll it out with the with the reel, so it's all pushed into that soil, and then I'll get onto the soil amendments, and we'll uh, get that black gold onto the onto the um, onto the lawn.